My name's Sho Inoue. I'm a third year student at Koiwa High School who transferred here in April. This school is packed with all sorts of unique people. For example, Hey, Reina, morning! <sighs> Yo, there's a super good new crepe shop near the station. We should check it out together. No. How about an elegant cap? No. She's still the same as always. That's Reina Yamamoto. She's a genius with stunning looks, but man, she's got a sharp tongue. Lots of folks are scared of her, but her sassy attitude actually makes her popular with some people. And not just that. <laughs> that glare of hers is something else, but my right eye is even sharper. I shall now deliver the judgment of the Dark Tribunal. <laughs> Don't you dare call me that. Yeah, yeah, it's her again. She's got eighth grader syndrome, man. Lily Demon, that's another unique person. She isn't a bad person, but she loves causing a ruckus and making everyone around her uneasy. Not the time to be watching this. I gotta deliver a message from the teacher to Reyna. Um, Reyna. Huh? And? What? Don't touch me. Uh, sorry. Ugh. Uh, the teacher was looking for you. Got it. Ugh. I messed up and made her mad. Hey, you there. If you keep moping like that, I won't turn you into my familiar. N no thanks. What? Looks like Raina can't stand me, and I guess I'll just quietly get through until graduation. That's what I thought. But a few days later, one thing happened. After school. Man, I'm such an airhead for forgetting my homework. Wait, is someone sitting at my desk? Huh? Reyna! And wait, did I leave my gym uniform out? I can't take it anymore. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <sighs> this is the best. What the? Yep, this is it. The smell. It's so refreshing, and yet kind of alluring. How do I even describe it? No, it's indescribable. My entire genetic makeup is craving this smell. Ugh. <sighs> this smell makes me so calm. This is what I've been searching for all along. It's too blissful. <sighs> what the... What's going on? Reyna just took my jersey. Ugh, my brain can't process this at all. I'm starting to feel dizzy. Huh? Uh. Uh. Um. Mm. Hey, Reyna. What? What? I, I mean, about just now. Huh? Um, what were you doing with my jersey? What are you talking about? Huh? Are you dreaming or something? Huh, well, I'm leaving now. Uh, yeah, okay, sorry for stopping you. But it wasn't a dream! <laughs> After that, no matter how persistently I questioned Reyna, she just avoided the topic. She probably didn't want to talk about it, and there was no point in worrying about it, so I decided to spend the next day as usual, or so I thought. How did it end up like this? Today, for some reason, Reyna kept talking to me since morning, and here we are. Maybe she's keeping an eye on me, afraid that I'll spill the beans about yesterday. But I mean, isn't she too close? I'm gonna eat this. What? You hate bell peppers, right? Yeah, wait, did I say I hate bell peppers? Your face says you hate them. What kind of face? Look, a UFO! No way! Where? <sighs> hey, seriously, where? Sorry, think it was a cloud. What kind of mistake is that? A few minutes later. Uh, I couldn't sleep last night because there was a lot in my head. You haven't slept enough? Well, I guess that's my fault. N nah, it's not like that. Mm. Why don't you sleep here? Uh -huh. 
Come on, don't hesitate. It's... it's okay. Besides, there's no need for you to do this because of what happened yesterday. Huh? What are you talking about? She's playing dumb. Just hurry up. I'll wake you up when the bell rings. Uh -huh. I can't sleep like this. But maybe Reyna is actually kinder and more approachable than I thought. From then on, the days I spent with Reyna increased. Sometimes she helps me with studying. You got here wrong. Oh, you're right. I guess your Japanese still suck, huh? Ugh. But she's teaching me, so I gotta do my best. Ugh. Hmm, your bangs grew long. What? Huh? <gasps> Man, she's close. Um, maybe we should head back soon? Uh, yeah. That freaked me out. Whoa! Huh? <laughs> S sorry! <gasps> what the? Uh, uh, um... Just... Ten more seconds. Huh? Just stay like this? I even if she says that, it's impossible when my heart's pounding so much. <sighs> what should I do in this situation? How many seconds are left? <sighs> Ten seconds later. Okay. Huh? Let's go home. Uh, yeah. Oh, she's back. What was that just now? From then on, we continued to spend time together, gradually closing the distance between us. I'm starting to forget the sight of Reyna holding my gym clothes in the classroom. Instead, what remains is Reyna's smile, which I get to see every day. Before I knew it, I started to gradually fall for Reyna. A few weeks later. It's raining just like that day. That day? You still don't remember, huh? Huh? We made a promise. Ten years ago. Ten years ago? Never mind. What? I'm going home first. Hey, wait. A promise from ten years ago. Wait a minute. Could it be? Truth is, I used to live in this Koiwa town ten years ago. My parents were always getting transferred, so I could only stay for a short period. At that time, there was a girl I was really close with. She was shy and had a hard time talking. But she worked hard taking care of the flower bed and the rabbits, and that left a strong impression on me. One day, she came to school wearing ill-fitting clothes. The tight fit made her the target of teasing from our classmates, and I remember her having a face on the verge of tears. Feeling sorry for her, I lent her my tracksuit, and that's how we became good friends. She must have loved the feel of it because she'd started wearing my tracksuit to school every day. We became really close through talking, but soon after, I had to move because of my parents. Will we meet again someday? I'll come back to Koiwa Town in ten years. Don't forget about me until then. I will never forget about you. So don't you never forget about me too, okay? Yeah, promise. No way. That Reyna? I've always remembered Reyna, but her last name is different, and above all, she looks like a completely different person. There's no point in thinking about it. I'll ask her tomorrow. That's what I thought. But the next day, Reyna kept avoiding me, and before I knew it, it was after school. Ugh, where did she go? Oh, Lily, thank you. Mm. Huh? Um, why are you staring at that like that? <laughs> I never expected to meet you here. Uh huh? This scar, you must have gotten it from the underworld conflict. Huh? I just fell during PE class. What are you saying? My left hand is responding too. Uh huh? So... You're also someone connected to the dark world. But if you wear this, it'll attract demons. Ha ha, no need to worry. I'll wear it for you. Carry this emblem on your back. Wh what? Oh, Al, I'm snatched. Tatter tracks you at all. I look super cool. Hey, Lily, what are you? Oh, I finally found Reyna. 
now's the only time I can talk to her! Um, Reyna, about yesterday... Just forget about it! What? It was just my own memory. Your warmth, your smell, everything. But now it's... Ugh. Uh, hey! Reyna! What the? I, I did nothing wrong! I was just trying to avoid getting attacked by monsters! It, it's fine, so just wait a sec, okay? Ugh! What did I even do? A few minutes later... Reyna! Huh? We were in the same class at Koiwa Elementary School. You're that Reyna, right? Uh. My bad for not recognizing you right away. Your last name and appearance totally changed, so... A lot has happened since then. And Reyna started sharing her story little by little. Turns out, that girl, whom we were tight with when we were kids, was Reyna all along. After I moved away, she was determined to stand by my side confidently the next time we met, so she started making changes from her appearance first. She tried her best to overcome her shyness, but... The divorce of her parents and a complicated environment made it impossible to fix that part of her. Even now, she struggled to have smooth conversations with people who approached her. And then, all of a sudden, I transferred to Koiwa High. While she was happy to see me again, Reina's shyness kicked in big time. She missed the perfect timing to open up about how to interact with me and let it slip away. Even when I passed on a message from the teacher to her, she ended up acting all embarrassed and stuff. And that's when she deeply regretted it. And that's when she stumbled upon my jersey. Seems like nostalgia hit her hard. And she wanted to be close to me in some way. Just like back in the day. She couldn't resist burying her face in it, catching a whiff of my smell. I mean, reminiscing about the memories. She had been holding back her desire to get closer to me all this time. So when she finally let it out, her energy skyrocketed. She felt embarrassed that I caught her at that moment, but she also wanted me to notice her if possible, so she couldn't bring herself to tell me the whole truth. I wanted a chance to become close to you like when we were kids, so I thought that was my shot. But you didn't even realize it, you know? Sorry. No, it's okay. I should have been the one to speak up. But honestly, I was scared that you completely forgotten about me. Nah, that's not... It's alright. I know it's too late now. It's my fault for not being able to say it. And I know you're into Lily. What? No worries, I won't be a bother. Obviously, your warmth and smell aren't mine. No, it's not... I... I just want you to be happy, Sho. I can't let her go like this. No way! I gotta step up and be brave, too! Wait! Huh? Listen to me. I gotta tell you something. I'm into you, Reyna. What? So it was all just my misunderstanding? Yeah. S sorry Nah, I couldn't bring myself to express my feelings all this time. Sorry. But, you know what? I really, really like you, Reyna. You too, show. Reina. <laughs> Smells like show. Hey! What the heck are you two doing ignoring me? Oops. Uh, forgot about you. Seriously, I hate this whole you thing. But you, there seems to be a bit of potential in you. If you want this dark robe so bad, I'll give it to you. In return, you'll become my familiar. No thanks. What? No! I mean, it's like being comrades who live in the world of darkness together! Comrades? You mean friends? Uh, well, um... Yeah, I think that's what she meant. What? You, what are you? If you mean about friends, I'd be happy to. <laughs> gotcha! This is my scheme! You'll regret it later without even knowing! Now you've entered into a contract with me, bound by darkness! A contract? Hmm, these two actually seem surprisingly compatible. And then, over the next few days, starting with getting along with Lily, Reyna started getting closer to her classmates as well. 
Apparently, there are voices saying it's a godsend to be able to hang out with that lily. And for us... So, I forgot my umbrella. Huh? What about the one you're holding? Are you saying that this thing looks like an umbrella to you? I mean, obviously. This here's a magical tool to summon familiars! Is she getting influenced by Lily? So let me in. Uh. If I do this, I can feel your smell. Hold up. Don't get too close. <sighs> hey, when are you going to give me a hug like last time? Well, you know, it's embarrassing to do that in front of people. Then let's go home, darling. Uh, all right. With her sharp tongue turning all clingy, I might just keep getting tossed around by her in the future. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too.